Hello everyone, my name is Noah, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 Season 2. Now, it's been another day since I've last picked off. Uh, it's now day 36. I have uh, managed to survive the Horde Night again, but that's because, you know, I'm a little bit of a, you know. So, I didn't want to just uh, do it because uh, I am not ready for the Horde Night yet. So, I mean, this sledgehammer is really good and everything, but you can't just do it on melee. You need to have guns. I did kill a couple of zombies, and I was able to get some stuff. Like, I was able to get some black suit pants, repair those, can of pasta, and also one of the hungry zombies dropped a steel shovel. Now, I can make a way better steel shovel, so that's just worth the money right now. And, as you guessed it, I'm on my way to the trader, because I would like to get some new, uh... Those are some good dress dress shoes. I would like to get some new stuff and see how, how the secret stash is. Now, I don't exactly remember what day he restocked. Uh, it's been a couple days since I've last played. So, I just hopefully it'll be something good. And also, as you can see, I did get infected from last night. So, not really too good, but you're going to have to deal with it. But, one thing I've noticed for sure about, uh, one sec, uh, need to check where am I going again? Okay, yeah, right there. Okay, uh, one thing I've, I've not definitely noticed something different, is now these zombies will actually follow you instead of, uh, going straight for one place. Like, before in Alpha 15, if you had a mini bike, you could just run away, and you'd be okay. Now it's like... Uh, basically, you can't, uh, you can't do that. They will eventually follow you back to where you, uh, go to. Like, uh, I've had some cops that just followed me, and some of the fast zombies, like the zombie bikers and everything, will follow you for so long before you are able to get away from them. So if you don't have a fast engine on your mini bike, you are not going to outrun some of those zombies. So make sure your tank is fully filled before you head out on a horror night, because without a filled tank, you're not going to last long. But also we're back in this town over here, so hopefully to find some uh, better loot. I think I am going to put some points into scavenging because I think it's still like level f like in mid 40s right now. But I just want to head over here and just see what he's got because I would like to see if he's got any changes to his secret stash. Okay, nothing more in there. And also one thing I've definitely noticed is that I'm now starting to get uh, feral zombies now spawning on the Horde Knights, and in houses, occasionally, so, that's another thing I gotta be aware of now, is that now it's, feral zombies are now starting to spawn, which is always run zombies, so, you gotta be very careful. It'd be cool to actually, uh, like, like a trader like this, if you could actually pay a trader to stay the night, like, that would be a cool thing you could do. All right, Bob. Your time. You restock on 37. But you have a nice steel fire axe. Some nice shotgun parts. You got a sawed off. Okay, it doesn't look like he had anything uh, new. But I do want to... Uh, can I buy one piece of leather? You don't have any. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to sell you this. I'm going to sell you uh, these. I'm going to sell you that. Okay, what is more expensive? The shovel. And give you that. So I'll keep the boots. Hopefully this next guy will have some leather. It doesn't look like really to have anything, so I'll check the next guy. Thanks for shopping here. Come again. I mean, he's got some blue parts, which is really nice, but it's not what I'm looking for. Alright, I'm just going to double check this next trader over here. And check my skills. What am I in scavenging? 48. Okay, so... I guess when I level up, I guess I'll put all the rest of my ranks into scavenging. And I'm actually about to level up again, so... 
I guess I'll, uh... Ooh, nice. I guess I'll put, like, another... My the rest of the points in this damaging as well, so that'll give me to up to level 65. And actually, maybe so if I get up to level 65, then that means I can at, well, level 60 at least, then that means I can actually start saving up for quality Joe 3. All right, so going to skills, uh, vital. And now we are 59. Alright, any zombies in here? Because I would like to kill them before uh, anything. Alright, you should be a one shot now. There we go. Dress shoes for days. Alright. Scavenging. Alright, so just put that rest. I'm now level 65, and now I can get the final rank of quality Joe, which is 32 points. So that'll be a while. But I do need to get a lot more better stuff. Miss me. So yeah, that's gonna have to be my main, my main priority right now. Come on over. I'll one-shot you. And take you out. To make the animation much better. Ooh, that's easy money. Alright, uh, check these guys. Our tree's only level 20. Alright. There should be a drop coming in. I didn't even see it. Where is it? Is it like all the way back there? Well, it's somewhere along this hill. Well, just put a marker up there because I don't think I'll be finding that for a while. I have caps lock on. Alright, there we go. Alright, check this guy. I know there's a lot of stuff in there, but... Just don't need it right now. Okay, is this workbench working? Nope, destroyed. Well, actually, what I can do is scrap this for three leather, and then repair that with this one. And I can repair these two. That's perfect. Okay, fucker. You respect the shop rules, and we'll get along just fine. All right, I'll sell you this, and this will only take it to 111. That was two leather, so sell that. 231. Chainsaw is more, so sell them that. All right, what do you have? Small engine, shotgun, long barrel, two good shotgun parts for not so expensive. Chainsaw, reinforce, SWAT, don't really need that. He's got a battery bank. And also, I just want to say, guys, uh, I did buy a battery bank from this trader before, so I did not just get it randomly, so don't blame me. I just forgot. I would like your brass because I need brass. That's really expensive, and I'm not buying that. I do want bullet tips. Okay, that's really all I need. Uh, I should get a sh good shotgun going, so I think I'll start a... Oh, Jesus, it's so expensive, though. Oh, you want a guarantee, huh? Well, maybe you should try Shamway. Yeah, I don't really care. Just 
Anything will do. Alright, I want to make some crossbow bolts. Just make two, because I only have two feathers. Alright, and I think where I want to go now is into this town. Now, hopefully it's not, like, super, like, super, like, uh, wet there, and I can't even get up this hill. It's just... Nothing is working out right now. Lost the airdrop, and then uh, just nothing more. Alright, but... So, let's head into this town, hopefully find some good stuff, because... And lots of zombies. I would like to get Quality Joe maxed out. But that will be a while. Because that will be... That will be so many levels. Well, five at least. Depending on how many challenges I do. Please drop guns. Because I would like some guns. The only thing I have blue right now. Is just my uh, hunting rifle. And I would really like to get my submachine gun much more leveled up. There's a big guy. Some glue, thank you. I'm probably going to make a new blunderbuss soon. Hey, come here. I need to take you out because I need uh, your loot. That's good. Because I have more brass now. That was a good amount. Alright, so make one more crossbow for later. And then turn the rest into arrows. Alright, don't really want that infected survivor. It's now time to head into town and quickly try to see if I can find some stuff. Hopefully I will be able to. I'm gonna have to start unlocking some traps as well because I'm just I'm just gonna need it. There's a pig there. Also, I need to find some uh, some uh, antibiotics. I didn't realize I'm infected. There's a vulture. Is there any uh, gun stores up here? There's a crack. There's an original cap crack a book. Maybe I'll find something good in there. Also, we're out of the snow biome. Thank goodness. These actually have durability now. That's up on top. Nice. Here, come on down. Come on down. I'll take you on two shots. They don't seem to drop too much hazmat stuff anymore. Is there any more? I do see one over there. Let me just uh, get around to his head. Oh, here, big guy. Definitely not a cop, because he would definitely not be uh, making that sound. He'd be making a different sound. But definitely, uh, definitely a uh, big guy. Gunpowder. He's going to break through that door, like, so quick. Knock this down. Get some more scrap. Oh, there's a football guy. He's going to start running. Missed him. Okay, got him. Play Z player. 
Good thing I was able to one-shot him. Well, good thing I was able to get him right off the bat. Water. Gonna need it. Uh, you wanna come play? Come play with my sledge. There you go. Some lead, I'll take it. He's in the back room. Oh, he's, he's breaking this. Oh, wow. He's, he's hitting these so hard. Just need to hit him in the head. Okay, one more time. Thank you. I'm going to need this. And drink that. Hey, nurse. Good thing you're not feral. I'll take you out with a sneak attack. And you got vitamins. Jars, I'm going to need them. Blood packs. Excellent. I know the chemistry say. Oh wow, 528, 528 wrench. Like I know the uh, the whole thing with just the uh, with that is uh, pretty important. Is that an enemy? Nope. I did took out take out one guy over here. And he's got a 480 sweater. Come on, like, I need something better than that. I need, like, a armor or something like that. Well, something like a t-shirt would be better. That's kind of weird how that, uh... Okay, there we go. There we go. Got her. Oh yes, this scavenging has just made it much more easier to loot. Scrap iron. Just gonna scrap it all. It's not really worth taking to the trader because this is gonna take so much inventory space. Nail gun. Maybe some of the more expensive ones, like a uh, like this one, I might uh might take. I don't even know what that was. Man, they made this game so much more like, oh, like, it's so like, you gotta be right on your toes and be ready. Oh, there's a cop in here, ED radiated cop. Question is, is he, uh, is he a feral? No, he's not, thank goodness. Oh, jeez. He hit me. I'm gonna give you the bow. Oh, you missed entirely. Alright, I'm gonna start hitting him with a sledge, because this is the only way I'm gonna kill him. Like, there might be a chance with the, uh... Might be a chance with the SMG, but... I'd say it's more unlikely. Alright. Oh, he's gonna puke again. Get away from me. These things hurt! Oh, yep, go flying. Come on. I can get him. Oh, he's gonna explode. Alright, well, at least he's dead. But nope. And there's another cop right there. If I can just sneak around and just get a bunch of hits. Or even one-shot him with the sledge. Yeah, I'll be good. Get a sneak attack, come on. Miss. Oop, he's gonna hit me. That's gonna hurt. Got him! You only have one feather. 
You only had one feather. Oh my goodness. But look at the challenge. Detective policeman. Done. That guy was going to be a tough one to kill. And that was an effective policeman. I wonder what the, uh, the feral white is going to be like. Ooh, that's good. Uh, I don't really have anything. I'm going to have to take this. Hopefully I can find a cooking pot so I can make some water. Starting to find purple stuff now, but I'm just not finding the right stuff. So, uh, I'm gonna have to somehow find a way to heal myself. Okay, so, Blunt Weapons is halfway ranked to 100. So, gonna have to stay... I'm gonna have to stay in the town just to hopefully uh, get this trader to trade with me. Oh, beer. I do need that. A potato. Beer? Oh, yes. That's way more worth it. We're gonna get some painkillers. And then we're gonna be able to uh, heal by taking some water. Alright. This the shotgun one can s scrap. Leather boots, I already know it. Give me something I don't know. Uh, that I already know. Can these uh, books actually stack? That would be good to know. I might actually try that. Ooh, that's good. Do I have that? Yep, that's known. Scrap it. Not worth it. A lot of shotgun slugs. Not worth it. They're worth so much. Oh, that's going to be worth quite a bunch. That's worth a lot. Crossbow. That's worth a lot. Ooh, that'll do, pig. I think I might accept that because, uh, this will be, uh, this will be much easier to do. Alright, get these boxes right here. Finish uh, searching these up. And then should be good. Alright, I'm gonna sort uh, my inventory. <gasps> That's a nice one to find. That was good. Alright, so yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take everything out of here, uh, stay here for the night, and, uh, I'll go to the trader, and, uh, hopefully he'll have some good new stuff that, uh, I'll be able to use. But, uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!